Servus, grüß euch. My name is Pablo Picanto and welcome to the park. This is a storytelling horror thriller something game slash walking simulator. Uh, that's what people say on Steam. And uh, overall, they have a quite a quite good opinion of this game. Um, so I'm somehow a little bit into storytelling uh, these days. So I uh, I was was quite hooked, and that's why I'm gonna try try out the park for now. So why don't you come along? The park is a narrative experience best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio, okay, okay. This is perfectly normal. <laughs> okay. No need to panic. Funcom presents in my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. The park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Right, then let's go and ask in what I can look at myself. That's good. I cannot sprint. Attention, patrons. That's park not good. Oh wait a wait a wait a what? But I wanna go in the park. Press to interact with the world. Callum was born the day this what? place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Oh, okay. No, don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck. Why, why am I stuck? Okay, now. What the fuck was that? Alright, I am. Um, hello? Sir, Monsieur. What? Well, there it goes. I don't know what goes. Hey, Lorraine. nice mustache, Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Wait, he Take knows a deep me. Breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Thanks. Okay. So we know that that guy. Press to shout. Callum, Callum. I told you to wait in the car. Over here. Shouting provides audible and visual clues to guide you. Uh -huh. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. This way. This way. Something was there. Read a flyer. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Alice Clar. That's too much to read. I don't Hey Callum, boy. Where are you going? Come on this way. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. Huh? It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Yeah, great. And that is where the shit starts. That is where the horror kicks in. Ah, because of a teddy bear. What the fuck? Oh, it got dark. Yeah, that... <laughs> That is typical um, uh, for the moon going up. Your sight vibrates. Oh God! The park. What happened here? Oh, I can run. I can run. Easy going. Cool. Uh, yeah. Can what I'll happened come here? Come back here right now. Hey, boy! Stay here. Do 
Don't go in that huge mouth there. He isn't. Okay. What the fuck kind of amusement park is this? Uh. Look at the map. Uh, what? Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. That is not nice to say. Where am I? House of Horrors. <laughs> I got a feeling we're going in there later. Uh, he ran to Tunnel of Tales, is it? Callum? This way, Mommy. What way? Come to Mommy, Callum. Over here. Sounds like this way. Stop! Callum! Catch Callum. Me, Mommy. I'm on it, and, and when I get you, I swear to Wait, God. Callum. You dropped your shoe? I think this belongs to Calum. For what? Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? Over here. What is this about? Purchase the land of Solomon Island for a pittance, I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Anderson, he did terrible, dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park, the name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something Amazing. Okay, someone bought the Hello? park. Over here. Despite the locals uh, saying, Where are you? telling him something about a curse, that is always a good plan. Callum, stay where you are. This way, mommy. What the fuck? Come out, sweetie. Are there gonna be clowns or something? Are you Callum? Stay uh -huh. where you are. Boat? Am I gonna Mommy boat? Needs to Mommy. See you, Callum. Where did you go? I'm I'm guessing this is for me. So why not? <laughs> Let's ride Swan. Cool. <laughs> that takes away so much control. And I'm just sitting here and waiting for shit to happen. Callum, where are you? Please don't jump scare or some shit. The atmosphere is really great though. That I like really much. Callum, where did you go? Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife oh. and his two children. Oh yeah, a boy named the Cave Hans of Tales. And a girl named Gretel. They were very poor oh. and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow uh. and abandon them there. Oh, no, you bitch. Wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Never, ever ask your wife before. what to do or well, some shit like that will come out. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and 
gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Such a smart guy. Okay. I know I know the story. Okay. leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother how does that help me? Bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' whoa, house. Whoa, whoa, something happening again. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Mm. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. What is going on? Broke his bread into pieces and left There's something seriously wrong but with my mind here. Snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Yeah. Spoiler, the witch dies at the end. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find Am I going to meet a witch? The children wandered in the forest for 3 days. I hope days. not. That's kind of a lame ride for an amusement park. Only with shadows. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread. Oh, no. And its oh. windows were panes of clear sugar. Mm, and yummy. Desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Who wouldn't do that? Let's be honest. Nibble, there he nibble, is. Little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? <laughs> An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in. Still trying to figure out the relevance of this story for no my story here. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Oh, no. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. Yeah. The old woman offered we know. two enormous lollipops. The children took them Step. and began to eat. Really? Who, who? Nothing to fear here. Come inside. Who thinks of this? And the children still looking in an amusement park. Like, hey, you know what would be a good idea? Well, once inside the house, the old woman. I don't know what's. Oh god. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything. The ride is great. And put Gretel it's to awesome. Work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful. Orange told Gretel. Once Yummy. He is up can, can we speed I this up? Feast upon him. <sighs> okay. As atmospheric as Time this passed, is. And poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat. You could have done it in the half the time, at least. But Bro there is the exit. There is the exit. Today, soon. Very soon. I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside. And light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know <laughs> how. Where is the opening? Tricky. Oh, Very tricky. The old witch said. The opening is here. <laughs> and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, <laughs> and the witch was 
is cooked. That's so very gruesome now that we think about it. And then, because even what? children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Okay, that part I didn't know. <laughs> what a twist at the end. My parents told the story not not quite that far. Whoa, Zah, hi there. You okay there? Shift and jump! Wow! Oh my god! Oh! Damn! What a jump! Damn! So awesome! 